so we will take example of early binding polymorphism and late binding polymorphism so there is a two types of polymorphism in object oriented programming which is early and second late binding now let's understand the early binding polymorphism we will take example of math public class and write the function or loading method calculate let's create a first method calculate which is accepting two parameter a and b integer type and function return type integer and it will return the integer type value return a into b now we will create another method public float calculate which is having a float parameter float a comma float b and it will return a into b return type float so another function i have created calculate the same method name but different signatures now i'm creating another method public string calculate the same method name in which is having two parameter string a and string b it will return the string value so now i created the three calculate method with a different different signatures so this is the example of method overloading meaning same methods are behaving different same method object may will create object of method maths class and same object will call the calculate method by different different parameter and it will behave different form so now we'll create maths object new maths and we'll call the calculate method in assign it to result 1 objm dot calculate by passing integer values so we'll give here integer value and calling by objm object we are calling calculate method now we'll pass integer values and when we debug it it will go to calculate method which is having integer parameter because we are passing integer values here now it will go to calculate method which is having integer parameter value and integer uh, return type and it will return the integer value now 
now we'll change it to float and we'll pass float values as it is float so we need to append here capital F otherwise it will give error so now we'll call the calculate method as we are passing the float values so it will go to calculate method which is having float parameter and it will return the float value so same methods are giving different different form here now let's change this to string value value 1 value 2 and return a string so now we'll debug and see that now it will go to calculate method which is accepting string value and it will return the string value so same methods are giving different different form different different values so this is the example of polymorphism and this is early bending polymorphism because we are using method overloading so because it is getting check compile time so this is uh, we'll remove it because we'll go for some other implementation now there is a lead binding polymorphism we'll create a public class animal class where it's having one virtual method of wise animal wise and which will return the animal wise to derive class we, are def we have defined it virtual so that the derived class can overwrite the same method in define their own voice so that is why i have written their virtual the virtual is virtual method is example of uh, late binding polymorphism so here the animal class is having public virtual listing voice method and it will return default voice of animal now we'll create public class lion so lion is a child class derived class of animal so like lion is having its own specific noise wise so it will overwrite the parent default wise so we'll write here public overwrite overwrite string wise and it will return the specific lion noise because if we are overriding the parent virtual method wise in a lion class 
now we'll take another class public class elephant elephant is a derived in child class of animal so we will inherit animal now public override string voice so element uh, elephant is also having the specific noise so will override the parent voice under the elephant class means object are same but it will behave different different so this is example of late binding polymorphism we'll create one some animal here we don't know what is the animal and we don't know the voice so we will not override so that is why it will take the default voice from parent animal class now this is early binding example and this is late binding example we created animal based class and lion elephant and some class child class this is lion class the child of animal and we are overriding the voice here here we are overriding now we'll create the instance and try to call the methods and see the different different form of the same methods or object so we'll create instance of uh, uh, we'll create instance of lion and assign so we'll write animal obj one equal to new lion lion instance is getting assigned to obj1 we'll create another actually we can use uh, obj1 here let's take that obj1 equal to new elephant obj1 equal to new some animal some animal let me remove this it's actually some animal now we'll call the voice method obj1 dot voice it will return a string value
will define a string noise and assign value to noise assign value to noise assign value to noise means same object is calling the diff the same methods and we'll see that how it will behave different now we'll debug and see here lion so it will go to lion clause and override method wise and it will return the lion noise then again it will go to elephant class and override wise method and it will return trumpet noise now so trumpet noise is coming now again we'll go to some animal some animal we are not overriding the wise method so it will take it from base class wise method it is under base class animal so all wise call is giving different different values and different different forms so this is the perfect example of late binding polymorphism now <coughs> animal class having virtual method wise lion is overriding the same method now animal object calling the wise method and returning different different form of wise now we will use abstract class then instead of virtual we will write there abstract method and remove the code body we'll give signature only as we are giving signature so child class must implement wise method means must override wise method so here we are overriding here we are overriding under elephant we are overriding but we are not overriding under some animal previous example it was taking from from parent now it will not take so we'll remove it because we must in we must implement the abstract method we'll remove it now 
now this is also will remove now abstract method and override is also example of plate binding polymorphism so let's debug and see it is going to lion because we are overriding then again elephant is going to elephant because we are overriding in giving different different form of written type so this is also the perfect example of let binding polymorphism so i have explained everything here very clearly and we can understand the polymorphism early binding polymorphism and late binding polymorphism